What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Katie of the House. I'm Katie and today on my channel I'm going to take you through all of our spending for December 2022 week one. So this spending tracker will go from December 1st through December 7th. So I'm going to show you everything we spent that wasn't a fixed expense basically. So we're just going to jump right into it because it's going to be a long one. So here, um, this is the date in which I bought everything. So this was on December 1st. I bought some gifts on Amazon or Mark and I bought gifts on Amazon. So he bought a few things for me. We bought things for our son, Liam, and then I bought some things for my brother and my brother-in-law. So we spent a total of $316.52 on that purchase from Amazon. So that came out of our holiday and gift category. So the total amount that we've spent so far in that category is $317. And I just round up here on this column from this. So I save all of the change that I'm rounding up with into a savings challenge. And I'm going to put that money towards my Roth IRA when the challenge is finished. So the total remaining money that we have for the rest of the month now in our holiday and gift category is $1,241. Also on December 1st, Mark actually bought me some flowers because it was our anniversary on this day. So he spent $46.57 on those flowers and that came out of our holiday and gift fund as well since it was for our anniversary. So we spent a total of $364 now out of our holiday gift fund and we have $1,144 remaining. So also on the first, Mark bought some parts for his computer. So he decided he is going to build a new computer. It's going to take him a few months because building your own computer is pretty expensive, especially building a gaming computer, which is what he's doing. So um, he's just gonna buy a few pieces at a time. So this was actually like the case that everything goes in. So that was $172.38 that did come out of his spending. So he spent a total of $173 so far since it's rounded up and he has $476 left in his spending fund. So also on the first, I did go to Costco. So I had a grocery haul up on my channel and I spent $368.08 on food and groceries. There are some cleaning supplies in there too, so that is all included in our grocery fund. I will link that Costco haul up above if you'd like to check it out. But I spent a total of $369 on that trip and I had $983 remaining. So also at Costco that day, I did buy some dog food. So that was $34.99 that came out of our pet fund. So we spent a total of $35 out of our pet fund so far, and we have $555 remaining in that fund. Also on the first, it just keeps coming. Uh, I did pay our water bill. So that was only $71.49 this time. Usually it's in the 80s. So that was pretty cool. I'm not sure why it was lower, but I'll take it. So that came out of our utility fund. So we spent a total of $72 out of that fund, and we have $465 remaining. And then again on the first, um, my son Liam goes to a ninja class that they do like kind of like an American Ninja Warrior type stuff, but for kids. And that comes out on the first every month. So that was $88. So that comes out of our boys spending fund. So we spent a total of $88 and we have $144 left in their spending fund. Okay, now we're on the second. So I did buy a couple of gifts on Etsy for my husband and my sister. I'm not gonna tell you what they were because my sister does watch the channel sometimes. So I spent $76.08 on those two things and that came out of our holiday and gift fund. So the total amount I spent so far was $441 and I have $1,067 remaining. So also on the second, I was at Kroger and I bought a couple of gifts for my sons, Liam and Owen. It's like stocking stuffer type of things. So that was $24.26 out of our holiday gift fund. So we spent a total of $465 and we have $1,090 remaining. Also on the second, I did buy some gifts for friends. So I bought a couple of candles from Bath and Body Works for, for their sale. So this was just online. I just went online and bought a couple of candles. So this was $28.77 out of our holiday gift fund. So that was $494 total. And then at that point, we had $1,014 left in that fund. But then I bought some more gifts on the second. So I bought a couple of things for some friends on Amazon. And then Mark bought me something um, for Christmas as well. So that was $83.97 out of our holiday gift fund. So that brought our total to $578 out of that fund. And we have $930 remaining. So while I was at Kroger on the second, I did also buy some um, cat food. So that was $19.99 out of our pet fund. So that brought our total to $55 spent out of our pet fund this month. And we have $535 left. And then also at Kroger, I bought food. That was what I went there for. So this was the second part of that grocery haul that I linked earlier. So I had like two different days because I went to Costco one day and Kroger the next day. 
So on the second day, I spent $111.26 out of our grocery fund. So that brought our grocery total to $481 and we have $871 left. Um, also on the second, since I was at Kroger, I just went ahead and got gas. So that was $34.73 out of our car gas fund. So that brought our total spent on car gas to $35, again, because I round, and we have $434 left in that fund. Um, also on the second, I sent Stacy from Coffee and Budget, I sent her some money to make some labels for my son's savings binders. So I don't do cash budgeting, but I pay my boys in cash for their chores, and I'm trying to teach them how to budget a little bit and to save their money, obviously. I mean, they don't have bills to budget for, but I just want them to kind of learn how to save and to you know, decide what they really want before they buy something. So that was $10 for those labels and that came out of my boys spending. So I spent a total of $98 and I have $134 left in their spending fund. So also on the second, we did go to Dairy Queen. I've been promising Liam that we would go to Dairy Queen for a while now because um, there is a new Dairy Queen near us. And I told him, you know, if you do well in ninja class and you stick to it, when that Dairy Queen opens, we'll buy some ice cream. And the Dairy Queen's been open for like a month now. And he was like, hey, it's open. Let's get something. So we did get some ice cream and like some dinner type things there. So that was $45.49 out of our eating out fund. And that was $46 total that we spent on eating out. So we have $231 remaining. So we also ate out again on the third, but this time I didn't take it out of our eating out fund because it was for our anniversary. So I took it out of our holiday and gift fund. So we were supposed to go to Ruth's Chris. Um, Mark and I were supposed to go to Ruth's Chris. We had a reservation and my mom was going to come up and watch the boys, but she was feeling sick and I didn't want her to feel like she had to come watch them when she was sick. So we canceled the Ruth's Chris reservation. I was going to ask my sister to watch the boys instead, and I know she would have done it. Um, she told me she would do it. We weren't really sure if we wanted to go anymore or Mark wasn't really. We didn't end up doing that, and we just we were going to just stay home and not go anywhere. But then we decided, well, let's just go to the mall and like kind of look around for some Christmas gifts. And then there's a cheesecake factory by the mall, so we just ended up eating there. So we took all the boys with us for our anniversary dinner, but it was nice and we all enjoyed it. So we paid $153.52 and that did include the tip. So that was out of our holiday gift fund since it was technically our anniversary dinner. So we spent a total of $732 now and we have 776 remaining. So since we were at the mall and the Cheesecake Factory, I went and bought a candle at the Bath & Body Works sale. So this time I went in person and this one was just for me. So I spent $10.72 and I took that out of our house things budget and I spent a total of $11 out of that fund now and I have $652 remaining. All right, so the next thing is a really stupid purchase that I should not have done and it was like something I did like super, super early in the morning when I first woke up. So I don't ever recommend making purchases that early. But anyway, there's like a little trend. I'll insert some pictures here in a second, but there's a little trend going around where you go on this app and you submit pictures and they turn them into like, you know, AI looking artwork, I guess. And it's $8 to do that. So I spent $8 on those pictures and they were really cool. Like I, I don't really regret it, but I kind of regret it because I didn't need them. And it's just like, I mean, it's $8 for something that I didn't need, but whatever, it's done now. So that came out of my spending. So that was a total of $8 and I have $272 remaining in my fund. So also another stupid purchase, Mark was like, hey, those are cool, I wanna do it too. So he did it as well. So that was a total of $181 now out of his spending and he has $468 left. But also on the fourth, he did buy some more computer parts. So I'm not sure what these were, I don't know, he's the expert on that, but he bought some more things for his computer that he's building. So that came out of his spending. So he spent $271.96, but that brought his total spending for the month to $445. And he has $204 remaining in his spending fund. So also on the fourth, um, I bought some things for my son's school. So they are having an art show. He goes to an art class and they're having an art show to like display all of the work they've done this semester. And the teacher asked for donations to like um, hang up some of the artwork, some supplies that she needed to display everything. So I signed up to donate some things. So that was a total of $44.04. And I spent that on Amazon and that came out of their school fund since it was for a school related activity. So we spent a total of $45 out of that fund and we have $2,420 remaining now. 
So also on the fourth, I did pay for the art class. I was actually supposed to do this on the first and I completely forgot about it, but that was $50 and I just pay her via Venmo. So that was from our school fund as well. So that was $95 so far out of that fund. And we have $2,370 remaining now in that fund. Next, also on the fourth, we have the chore money that I paid my boys. So um, I made them new chore charts. I'm planning on showing those to you on the channel soon, but I made them chore charts and I told them if they do the chore that's assigned to them each day, they'll get the money that I assigned to that chore. And then they'll also get to do a bonus scratch off that I got from Tracy at Golden Girl Budgets. Well, that was kind of a mistake on my part because I actually had to pay them $53 because they did all of their chores for the week. And then the scratch offs, um, Liam got $10 for the bonus and then Logan got 15. <laughs> so I ended up paying Logan more for the scratch off bonus than he actually got paid for the, the chores that he did. So I think we're going to change the scratch off bonus to just once a month that they get the bonus. So if they do all of their chores for the month, then they get to do the scratch off because I can't really afford to pay them $53 a week. So that came out of their spending. So that was a total of $151 that we spent so far on my boys spending and they have $81 left. So next, this was kind of another mistake that Mark had that he had planned to cancel. So it's a subscription to the Marvel Comics and that is $69 a year. So he had this for the past couple of years, but um, the card that was on file was expired. So he thought that it just wouldn't charge him and that, you know, it just wouldn't renew. But it was actually linked to our Disney Plus account and that had our updated card. So they ended up charging him for it. So I was like, no, you actually have to go cancel it. So he did cancel it for next year. So he won't be charged again for next year. And I guess he has access to those comic books for the next year. But um, he was kind of annoyed about that because he didn't think that would that would happen. But that did come out of his spending. So he spent a total of $514 so far and he has 135 left. So on the 5th, Mark got gas for the car that he drives. So that was $39.23 out of our car gas fund. So we spent a total of $75 now on gas and we have 394 remaining. On the 6th, I did buy some more music on iTunes about another Taylor Swift album. I told you guys that my phone does not have any music on it as my iTunes account was kind of compromised. So I had to make a new iTunes account. So that was $13.99 out of my spending. So I spent a total of $22 so far and I have 258 left. Also on the 6th, my Canva subscription came out. So that's just the um, site that I use to make thumbnails and stuff for YouTube. So that was $12.99. So that also came out of my spending. So now that brought me up to a total of $35 spent and I had $245 left. So on the 6th, I also went to Publix. So I had to buy a couple of things. So for tacos, we used up all of our taco seasoning for taco soup. So I needed some more taco seasoning for actual tacos. And of course, while I was there, I bought a few other things. So I bought some more lettuce for the tacos. I bought some eggnog. The boys all really like eggnog, but it is kind of expensive. <laughs> so um, I did buy some eggnog and I already need more, but that's okay. So we spent a total of $77.84 on those grocery items from Publix. And I spent a total of $559 on groceries so far this month now and I have $793 remaining. So I'm not too happy about this. I was doing better last month, so I think we need to do some Aldi shopping. So while I was at Publix, I also bought some pet items, so I had to buy some cat litter, and then I did buy some dog treats while I was there. They didn't need dog treats, but I did buy some, so I don't know, our dogs are spoiled. But we spent $56.86, that came out of our pet category. So we spent a total of $112 and we have $478 left in their fund. Also on the 6th, I did pay our electric bill for the month. So that was $149.66. So that came out of our utilities fund. So we spent a total of $222 and now we have $315 remaining. On the theme of Mark building his computer, he also bought a new keyboard. So that was $46 that came out of his spending and he has spent a total of $560 so far this month and he has $89 left. So on December 7th, we did have a no spend day. It doesn't feel that great because we spent so much the other six days. I mean, I'm glad we did have a no spend day, but our spending overall was just very high this month. And a lot of it was Christmas stuff and things that come out at the beginning of the month anyway, like utilities and then paying for the kids activities. So it's not all just frivolous spending, but some of it was, you know, we didn't go over in any categories, but it just feels like a lot of transactions. And it feels like we just spent so much in this first week of December. I knew December was going to be that way. So it's not like a shocker or anything, but I don't know. It's just not great to look at, <laughs> but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.